omega-5 fatty acids. Most people aren't as aware of them as their more well-known cousins, the omega-3s, but doctors and researchers have been talking a lot about omega-5s and their potential benefits for human health, especially reducing the risk of dementia. Hi, I'm Dr. Patricia Shelton, and today I'd like to talk to you a little bit about what we know about the potential benefits of omega-5s for human health, especially brain health. So here's this article on Tihiro's website. Let's take a look. Now, omega-5s are unsaturated fatty acids. So a saturated fatty acid is a long, straight hydrocarbon chain. And because the chains are straight in a saturated fatty acid, they can pack together really closely. And that's what makes saturated fats more solid. Whereas an unsaturated fatty acid has one or more bends in the chain. And because of that, the molecules can't pack together so closely. And this is what makes unsaturated fatty acids more fluid. A polyunsaturated fatty acid like an omega-5 has multiple different bends in the chain. It's a very fluid molecule. Now, omega-5, the, the number here on the end, omega-3, omega-5, omega-6, just refers to where that first little bend in the chain is. So these are all kind of related groups of compounds. And then omega-5 is a whole group of different fatty acids. Punicic acid is just one specific type of omega-5, the one that's received by far the most research attention. Right, so what does all of that mean? Um, cell membranes throughout the body surround every single cell and they're made up of fatty acids. And when we have more polyunsaturated fatty acids in the membrane, the membrane's gonna be more fluid, which is gonna help cells to be able to function better, especially cells of the nervous system because they use their membranes for that electrical signaling inside of the nervous system. And then specific fatty acids can also be used as signaling molecules, and they can do different things inside of different cells, different types of tissues throughout the body. And we're going to see both of those different functions being important in the benefits that we've seen in the research so far for omega-5s. So what are some of those benefits? Anti, uh, they have an anti-inflammatory effect, and this is related to that cell signaling ability, right? It's keeping chronic inflammation under control, which in turn reduces the risk of a whole host of chronic diseases. They act as antioxidants, so they absorb the toxic chemicals that are produced when your cells metabolize oxygen, and that helps to prevent cell damage and death throughout the body. They seem to help maintain insulin sensitivity. So when people with type two diabetes, the cells of the body are less sensitive to insulin. In mice that are fed a diet that typically gives them diabetes, if they're also eating omega-5s, it helps to keep their insulin sensitivity a little bit higher, right? It reduces that effect. And um, in rats or mice or people that are very overweight, fat can accumulate in organs throughout the body. And this is what leads to all of the different health effects that we see from being severely overweight, um, including in the liver. And what we see in rats is that um, when they eat omega-5s, it helps to reduce the amount of fat that accumulates in the liver, which would mean that they have less organ damage. At the same time, it also seems to help them maintain a healthier body weight. Um, in addition, it helps to increase the amount of HDL, so the good cholesterol, the one that reduces the risk of heart attack and stroke. We've seen some anti-cancer effects, decreased inflammation in the skin, which can be important for people with conditions like eczema. Um, and then the one that people seem to be the most excited about is brain health. So omega-5 seem to have all kinds of effects inside of the brain they help protect cells from damage through the antioxidant and anti-inflammatory effects they help to keep those cell membranes fluid which as we said super important for brain function and they seem to decrease the accumulation of a little protein product called beta amyloid and we see beta amyloid accumulating in the brains of people with alzheimer's disease by far the most common cause of dementia and we don't know yet exactly what beta amyloid is or why it's there in the brains of people with dementia but we do know that omega-5 seems to help reduce how much of this stuff builds up now in order to access as the brain, fatty acids have to cross the blood-brain barrier. And most fatty acids actually are not able to cross that barrier, right? It's the brain protecting itself from things that might be floating around in the blood. A nanoparticle formulation of omega-5s and other fatty acids, that's what's necessary to help that fatty acid be able to efficiently make it across into brain cells where it can actually exert these kinds of brain protective effects. So when people are taking omega-5s, they could be looking for any or all of these health benefits.